This is our fourth contest at 65 kilos. We've got uh, Kieran Lewin from Leicester Shoot Fighters against Chris Pritchett from the Eagles Team Thai MMA. The Chris very experienced, 8-3-3 three and three record. We're fighting the debut fighter, Kieran Lewin. Ooh. Interesting to see how this one goes. Kieran catching the foot there, then uh, Chris regaining his balance. Leicester Street Fighters, a, a pretty good gym. That, um, a very good gym. Very good gym, pretty well known. So, interesting to see how uh, the wrestling and submissions are. I think uh, Kieran's actually been concentrating on his wrestling for this bout. He's, he's given away a lot of experience, but if he's uh, training the Leicester Shoe Fighters, I don't think that'll make much difference. The calibre of the fighters in there and the coach is uh, excellent. Both fighters jockeying for position here against the, against the cage. Kieran with his back to the cage at the moment. Kieran using good risk and uh, using the underhook well. He's getting in good position to throw those knees. Very powerful strike. So on the cage right beside us. Yeah, Chris on it. Hold, holding the underhook and wrist control quite well to get those knees in. What should Kieran be doing here, Andrew? Uh, Chris against cage should uh, should be um, work, working to come off the side of the cage because it's just getting beaten with those knees. Kieran's working that good, good in underhook there. Yeah, good knees coming in. Connor telling him to stomp on his foot. Getting good position here to find the, the uh, the knees to the upper thigh into the body, very, very good strikes. I think Chris is looking a, li a little clueless on what to do here. Yeah, Nathan Levin giving uh, good advice from the corner. Well, it's really open for these knees. I can, you can just wait for them coming. Yeah, I think he's very holding the fence there. The referee's not warning him. He's been warned a couple of times already by the referee. For that. That's a very good control there. Good oh, day down from Pisso. And half guard. Be interested to see what happens now with 10 second so warning. Chris has had 14 fights, Andrew. That's, a, that's very experienced.
don't think that round influenced Kieran anyway. He's um, very, very good knees in the clinch there. W one good takedown from Chris. So uh, I think um, Chris has got it all to do coming into the next round. Be interesting to see what um, advice is given to both fighters between rounds. I think uh, yeah, Nathan Level Leverton will be giving, uh, telling Kieran just to stick with the same thing. The plan was working, obviously. The underhook and wrist control allowing him to keep striking against the cage, and those knees were doing some serious damage. Quite a lot of those got through. Chris, to his credit, looks still looks pretty fresh, under. Oh, it does, yeah. And uh, as does Kieran, though. So it'll be interesting to see what happens this round. Two decent fighters, this is um, it looks a, a good standard all the way through this fight. Yeah, both fighters obviously very well prepared by their camps. Uh, back and well the again. Well, good, uh, good, good recovery for that takedown, wasn't it? He looked like he was almost bullied over and then uh, managed to recover, catch the leg and he's now on top. Uh, let's see what um, Kieran's submission game is like on the ground. Yeah, Chris holding half guard. Let's see how he's passed. Kieran looking the, most, the, um, the more technical, uh, nice, nice movement for um, a debut fighter. Absolutely. Especially against someone so experienced in, in, as an amateur record. He's controlling the head quite well there. I see uh, where this goes from here. I think he's happy to stay on the ground, isn't it, Kieran? He's, he's not looking yeah. to stand up. It looked like he was in a translated triangle up there, but um, Chris getting the arms back in. He's working his legs up there. Uh, he's using he's possibly going for an armbar. Yeah, use the cage well to turn. His corner. Nathan in the corner stream for him to get back to his guard. He, see, he seems to recover position quite well. He, he, he goes for his attempts and then if he loses the position he then comes. Yeah, both fighters, a lot of movement from both of them. Um, Chris now on top, he's using that overhook. But very good hip movement, uh, Kieran, you can see there. Definitely. Looks an uncomfortable yeah, position. Yeah, I, was, I was just about to say he needs to get his, uh, his legs out a little bit there. It's not a comfortable position to be in. And Kieran again now on uh, oh, It looks like he's going to try and pass to Mount. <laughs> the crowd's screaming for him to take his back. I don't think he was quite in the position to do it. it was well, now it's... Um, just looking for a submission attempt. Oh, and he's almost got it. He's he needs to be very oh, careful here. Very good switch, up. switch in there. Looking from one submission to the next. To be fair, this looks quite an evenly matched fight. They've um, the jockeying for position. Kieran's uh, is definitely getting the better of it, but skill-wise, there's um, not much in it. Uh, Chris has done really, really well after a, a, a pretty. Harsh first round taking a lot of knees is uh has come good this this second round. And that's the end of the second round. Who would you give that round to Andy? I think uh, I, I like the way that um, that Kieran moves from position to position. I think Chris was doing very well looking for submissions, but um I, I like what Kieran's doing. I, I think, think he might have just took that round. I'd say Kieran's got definitely two rounds up, but Chris is definitely still in the fight. Absolutely. And the ball's still looking fresh going into this third round. Crowd showing their appreciation for the uh, Platinum Lace Ring Girl. And Nathan Levin giving advice to Kieran in the corner. Nathan, uh, who corners many UFC fighters. Which UFC fighters does it come to death? Right, so coming out for the third and final round now. Both fighters looking more than ready for this. 
Let's see if Kieran continues with this good movement. The crowd, the crowd's getting behind both fighters. Touch of gloves there, good show of respect. And here we are for the last round. And Kieran coming forward and off balancing him with a kick there. And he came in from Chris. Some good exchanges there. Getting a couple Chris of good still backing, shots. Up, backing up from the strikes. I think he was hurt by strikes in the first round, and I think that has um, it's made him a little bit apprehensive to go forward towards Kieran. This is, yeah, this is the same position again as the first round. There's some good tight knees coming in here. But Chris used a good counter there, called the leg into a takedown. Kieran looking for the back here. He's almost got that. He gives up and goes back to guard. Hip guard on the right hand side here, maybe looking for a triangle. Does have some very good movement, Kieran. I'm impressed with this. Yeah, I'm as well. Uh, Chris doing a good job though, pushing him into the cage. It, it prevents him a little bit from the movement he needs to finish this. Chris on top. It would be nice to see him uh, looking to pass here. I think Kieran's the um, uh, looking to finish a lot more of the fight, but Chris definitely has very good awareness of what he's doing and count as well to the attacks. Yeah, I'd agree with that. I think uh, both very competent grapplers though. Yeah. Although Kieran is the one who is looking to finish the fight. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think that might reflect in the judges' decision as well. Yes, definitely. Let's see what Chris can do to try and pull us back in the last uh, minute of the fight. Right, Kieran's really going forward now. He's looking for a strong finish to this. Yeah, he looks a fresh fighter still. Really eager to fire these shots in. Let's see if Connor is getting out. Really out. Really in for body shots. To be honest, not much else that he can do in, um, in an amateur fight, but he's throwing them in there. I think Chris is going to feel these tomorrow. Yeah, I think uh, Chris is going to look for a takedown, maybe. Or some knees of his own. Looks like he's going to try and grab that leg. Bit of a stalemate position. Chris got yeah, see, pinned up against the cage now. Chris, Chris had the same position there. He had the high underhook. He just wasn't using it to the same uh, effect as Kieran does. When Kieran has got this high underhook, he really, really knows how to work it. And again, a great good good knees going in. I think it's, oh, it's just a on the fight. Fire. Very pleased that. I think he knows this one. You can see from the body language of the two fighters who's, who's won this. Yeah, so I think we're in agreement. Uh, very good win for Leicester Shoot Fighters. Kieran Lewin. Very impressive fight. I'd like to see more from him in the future. Yeah, I'm sure we will. Thank you.